We're back, baby, and if we're back, it means we survived Vejas. The yearly trip continues. The second annual Vejas extravaganza, even though that I've been uh, there in and out between those times, but this is the core crew, baby. The core crew hit it. And you're going to hear all about it on Last Week This Week with your boy, Clayton Hill. Find me on Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, Apple Podcast, YouTube, inter, interwebs, interwebs again. Uh, find me, click me, comment me, all the fun stuff. But we did, we made it, uh, we made it back. We are in one piece. It took me, well, it's a Wednesday and... Um, we got back last Thursday, so it's taken me about a week to recover, which I think is probably normal for a uh, 34-year-old male with an average athletic figure. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy about the recovery time, but we tried to do things a little differently this time. We didn't want to do the same old, same old. Right, usually, you know, last year we stayed down at the MGM. New York, New York was the hub. This time we we centered ourselves a little bit, stayed at the link. That's an L I N Q. Because we're throwing fancy letters into things now. And so we are more centrally located, uh, but that didn't stop us from finding our way back to New York, New York, and Coyote Ugly. Uh, so we, you know. Last year, crazy adventures. Things went down. Right. We ruined a perfectly good short sleeve suit by my own bodily fluids. We were making out with people of the same gender. I said people is in plural. It was one dude. Uh, we tried to rein it in this year. Not to put a cap on fun. Right. We let loose a little bit. But also, we got the first Vegas trip out of the way. Now I'm a seasoned veteran. I've got a bit of a, a better head on my shoulders going into this round. Or so I thought. Dun, dun, dun. No, it was a good time, but I do have a few tips and tricks for y'all. First one is don't underestimate the power of the rides, man. Last year we went on the roller coaster. I don't know where it was. I still don't know where it is. It might be at New York, New York. I don't know. There was a roller coaster last year. Go on the roller coaster, man. Roller coaster was a really good time. And if you want to have a really, really good time, you need to go on the high roller, baby. There is a Ferris wheel. And I know what you're thinking. Clayton. Ferris wheels are lame as fuck. Hey, I agree with you, man. Or so I thought. Like, why would I pay $60 just to get a sky-high view of Las Vegas? If I want that, I'll go to Google Maps, man. But I highly, highly recommend the high roller. What does that $60 get you? You ask. Well, uh... It gets you a, a, a dark period in your memory is what it does, man. So it's, it's um, an open bar, 30-minute ride on a Ferris wheel located pretty centrally right next to the link. And I was like, 30 minutes, I'll probably have one drink in 30 minutes, man. Why would I pay $60 to do this? But I had my doubts. And I went in there. And what the fuck, Deborah? Deborah's behind the bar serving Long Islands. Kind of. It was just vodka and rum with equal parts sour mix and Coke. Now, they were tart, but they were strong. She's whipping out green tea shots. I don't know. We're double fisting Long Islands. About 10 minutes into it, everyone's got, you know, a couple drinks. 
Deborah's like, all right, shots, everyone. The fuck? Deborah, I'm not in college anymore. What are we doing here? All right, well, if we're doing shots, I got to have a free hand. There goes one Long Island. Grab a green tea. Yeah, they were, they were like decent shots, like little green tea shots. If you haven't had a green tea shot, it's like a Jameson peach sour Sprite. Delicious. Tastes just like green tea. Ask for one the next time you go out. It'll change your life. All right, green tea shot. Two minutes later, another round, guys. Ride's almost over. The hell, first of all, ride's almost over. Wait a second. Another shot. Phew. All right, last call. Well, shit. I better refuel, man. There goes the other Long Island. Let's go with the vodka crayon this time. Nope, didn't like that. Give me back to the Long Island. At one point, we're just like out on the... Afterwards, we're just out on the strip and we're like, hey, when do we change clothes? We all look at each other. No clue, man. Uh, had to be after the high roller. Was I stumbling out of this thing? Did I get on a child's Ferris wheel and then turn into a child leaving? I don't know how to use my legs. Where's my hotel? What happened? That was a, that was a black hole, man. Don't underestimate the rides in Las Vegas. Hit the high roller. Day two, advice number two, push back the tea time. Whatever tea time you have, I don't care what it is, push it back. It's not late enough. Wake up and we're like, oh man, what the hell? Vegas got us, man. Wait, what? We have to golf? When? Two o'clock in the afternoon? Where? In the middle of the desert? What? Feeling like this? Uh, okay. We were out there baking, man. You, you, ah. Uh, you don't want to have your first night in Vegas and then just go hang out in the middle of the desert for four hours the next day. Now, we wanted to golf earlier in the week because we knew that we would feel worse and worse after every night. And we thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to have a little bit more energy. Well, I misjudged the time that the sun sets. Should have had a tee time at about 3, 3.30. The heat's kind of there, but it's on the way down. We got some shade coming in. We were off by about an hour, hour and a half, and we paid for it dearly. We're wearing gloves. We're in like, you know, we're in clothes. We're in like, you know, shirts and shorts, like polos and shorts and stuff. But I've got a quick dry polo on, you know, like the fast moisture wicking polo. And it can't keep up, man. My polo is soaked. I've never worn this polo and have it be soaked like this or any dry fit shirt and have it be soaked like this. I've got a ring around my neck. My back for sure soaked. I lost eight golf balls that day. Three of them in the water, three of them in other people's yards, two of them. I don't know where they went. I just lost them in the sun, fainted for a second, couldn't keep up with it. Probably didn't even go far. Probably went 10 feet and I was like, uh, I don't feel good. Buddies are driving the golf cart, swerving around. Dude, I think I'm going to throw up. Whew. Hold it together, boys. Hold it together. We're almost there. It's like hole 11. Hold it together, guys. Yikes. I don't even think I had a drink until the fourth or fifth hole. <sighs> After every swing, uh, line it up, get set, swing back. Uh, every time, man, every time, push back the tee time. Number three, you got to visit Fremont 
We didn't do that last year. We did it this year. Hit all the good spots, right? I like Gold Spike for one of the bars. Got a lot of big games. Everything's like jumbo. Big outdoor area, a jumbo beer pong, uh, jumbo cornhole. They got like a dance floor and a DJ booth out there. Now, we went on a Tuesday, mind you. We went Monday, got in Monday, left Thursday. Hotel rooms are 40 bucks a night if you go during the week. I mean, if it, and you don't have the huge crowds, but also like some things in Fremont were closed on a Tuesday. You know, there's a give and take here. Gold Spike, great bar, dead as fuck. Fine with us. We got the whole place to ourselves. We're playing pool. We're playing darts. We're having a grand old time. So if you don't mind that, go on a Tuesday. Hit Gold Spike. We did hogs and heifers. Now that's kind of a rough bar anyway real rough on a Tuesday. They yelled at my buddy for trying to go pee-pee. He turns around. Where the fuck you think you're going? In a megaphone. Because it's like one of those bars where they kind of just berate you, you know, treat you like shit. Some people like that. It's like a biker bar, divey. Really cool. Where the fuck you think you're going? Uh, uh, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Haven't you heard of the fucking buddy system? Lady, I don't even know what that means. I mean, I've heard of it. I get it. But who is somebody coming to the bathroom with us? Should we should we use the buddy system to go to your bathroom? Now I kind of feel like we should. Is it dangerous in there? Probably looks like it. Uh, uh, that's OK. I don't have to go. He didn't even go to the bath. We were nobody. Nobody knew what to do. He was like, fuck it. I'm not going to go to the bathroom. All right, lady, uh, may I, may I please have three Jameson picklebacks? Right? Cause, cause I'm scared now. We don't have pickle juice. Uh, guess we're just doing three straight shots of Jameson. <sighs> Whew, knocked those suckers back. Didn't feel good. Didn't taste good. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Got out of there. Went to the Golden Nugget, went to like the Fremont Street Experience, you know, where they got like all the casinos going on. Everybody's walking through, zip line over the top. There's like the ceiling that changes colors and has like a, a light display and stuff going on, graphics. Really cool. It's like the main drag of it. You don't have to pay for it or anything like that. You're just walking through the main strip of Fremont, pretty much. We hit that. Uh, we were going to go to, uh, some, some place that was on a list. One of the bartenders gave us and we didn't quite make it. Uh, ran into this guy. Whoa, well, oh, man. Uh, uh, I think his name was, it wasn't like Andrew the healer. There you go, Rambo. Good boy. He's just sitting on the bed, hanging out. Something the healer, he called himself. He's like, I'm going to slow your heart rate. In three, two, one. You feel it? You feel it slowing down? Give it a second. Give it a second. We're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. Three, two, one. Andrew, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't feel shit. My buddy was the one that was doing it. He was putting his hand over his heart. I was, I was on the side kind of just like, all right, well, man, I'll be in this energy. We'll see if it happens. Feeling my pulse. And I'm trying. I'm trying to do it, man. Sorry, Andrew. Uh, don't quit your day job, buddy, because I think, I think my heart's racing faster now because I see a place that lets you throw axes. And, oh, the nerd. I think it was called the nerd because we were looking for games, looking for games. Didn't make it to the nerd. Ran into Andrew, the healer. <sighs> Man, keep working on it, bud. Things take time. We see that there's an axe throwing place. Now, we've been to, to L.A. Axe out here. We've done that. So we've thrown axes as a crew. But Vegas, man, Vegas doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, they're going to let you throw axes, but they're going to walk away and never check on you again. They're even showing us trick shots. We take the axe with the blade sticking away from you, holding it upside down. Take one step back with your left foot. Turn. Whew. Let go of the axe as you face the target. You mean I'm facing away from the target, the blade's down and away from me, the axe is upside down, and I've got to do a, a pirouette? And then release the axe for it to go God knows where. Yeah, just try that out a couple times. We're not going to monitor you. You're good. Sweet. Hell yeah, man. 
We were, man. We were little ballerinas throwing blades. That was a hell of a time. So definitely find yourself on Fremont. Find yourself a place to go throw some axes. It's over by Piano Bar and over by The Nerd, if you Google that. And this is like, uh, so you got the main drag. This is like a block or two just parallel to it. You'll find all these, the, you know, the gold spike and everything else will be right there. So you got to check that out. So day two, we golf, we hit Fremont. Day three, whew, struggling, man. Need a second. Let's relax. Let's go down to the pool. Let's just hang out for a second. And boy, we were relaxing. But not this other lady. This other lady went ham way too soon. Passed out on one of the benches. Like what not? It's not even a bench. One of like the, the day beds. I don't know what you call them. You sunbathe there. It's cushioned. You probably got to pay for it. It's not a cabana, a little day bed or something. She passed out, man, eyes closed, but she's giving us a thumbs up. Her friends are right next to her. Thumbs up. It's all we need. Just some signs of life, right? Just checking in on your buddy. Just need some signs of life. All of a sudden. Oh, no. Oh, man. Now we got we to gotta watch this lady laying on her side. Poor woman. Eyes closed. No idea what's going on at all. Just letting it out, man. Right there at the pool. The most casual way I've ever seen anything like that handled by staff members. Lifeguard comes over. Hands a cup of water. Just kind of stays there. No real medical attention or anything. Just letting it go. Uh, took about a half an hour for a supervisor to come over. And then probably another 15 to 20 minutes for someone to come clean it up. That's Vegas, baby. I guess it just happens all the time. It doesn't even phase him. We're, you know, we're just like, all right, that's going on. We'll let that happen. Sure. We go to the pool. Easy start to the day. And then we hit the party bus, baby. Uh, why not? Party bus was 90 bucks. Took you to three bars. You get a free drink at every bar. Say a drink is 10 bucks. Probably on the cheap side. You're probably closer to 15. But even if it's 10 bucks each, that's $30. Plus your Uber ride, the party bus, is already included. And the last place that you actually every place would have a cover at that point. But the last place that they take you was probably a seventy five dollar cover. So why not just pay the party bus, baby? Let's do it. And what we got suits again. We got matching suits this time. Last time we had the short sleeve shorts. It was an actual suit and blazer kind of a deal just for summer style. Different graphics all over it. This time we went full suit. Full out suit. And we didn't get into Coyote Ugly on Monday because they were closed. We were sad about it. But where does the party start this time? Coyote Ugly. So we got our fix in, baby. Ran into the bartender from last year. Hey, we're back. You know, she's heard that I don't know how many fucking times. But she seemed to enjoy us being there. So I'll take it as a win. I'll, I'll, see that, I'll, I'll say that it was welcomed. We hit it up there. Trying to get over a hump, man. I'm slinging drinks. Just trying to get back to even, honestly. Not even to have, you know, to get myself to have a good time. I'm just trying to get back to even. Just to feel okay. And we all know how that game goes. It's kind of like the game of catch-up. Pound it, pound it, pound it, pound it. Oh, no. Uh, the gas pedal's down now, isn't it? Hit Coyote Ugly. We go to this other place. I don't know what it was called. I think my buddy said it was like EDC or something like that. I thought that was a kind of music. But whatever. Bunch of dance floors. Really cool. One of them was outside. Had like half a bus. And the DJ was inside doing his thing. Dancing on the brick street kind of a deal. It was really cool. Then you go inside and it's got like the light up tiles from like the 60s, 70s disco era. That was pretty awesome. Hit that for a quick spot. Last play, you know, then we get that. We could walk there from. So it had to be half ass close to New York, New York and Coyote Ugly because we walked there. And then we got on the party bus. 
Now, when we signed up for the party bus, I was told that there was going to be booze on the party bus. So we get on the party bus. Everybody's on. What do I do? Start looking for booze. All I see are like six orange Mike's Hard Lemonades. I don't even know how to freaking say that. Six Mike's, Mike Hards? Mike's Hard. I'm pretty sure it's Mike's Hard. Mike owns the hardness of the lemonade but they were orange i was like what the hell is this shit and that's all it is glass bottles now i know better at this point but i'm in vegas and i tried to play catch up my judgment isn't completely there i probably shouldn't open this bottle on the side of the bus because i don't have a bottle opener it could have been a twist off I don't even know if I tried, but heard there was booze. I want one booze, please. Take it. Smack the top of it on the side of the bus. Boom. Man, I don't think I've I don't think that there was any kind of delay between that sound of me opening the bottle and the bus coming to a complete stop. Doors fly open. You sir, you're out of here. Whoa, 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 what? Just go straight to innocent. Whoa. whoa, whoa. What's going on? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That booze is for another client that I have after here. I told you that. You can't be on here. You got to go. Ah, I back up. Sorry, I'll sit down. I'll sit down. You can have it back. You can have it back. <laughs> we, we skid by. I was able to calm my way into staying on the bus. Just play innocent. Play so sorry, right? I'm just a kid. I thought that, that you know, I didn't know. Yeah, da, da, da. Which, I mean, there was a little bit, it said there was going to be booze on the bus, like, there was supposed to be booze on the bus, like, we're both in the wrong at that point, right? But I just, hey, hey, it's all good, it's all good. Finally get to the last place. They take us to Encore Beach Club, quote unquote, at night. All right, well, en Encore Beach Club is a, it's like a pool party. It's like a wet republic. We're outside and there's a pool. I'm in a full suit. Well, how am I supposed to enjoy the pool in a full suit? Now, I mean, like, there's there's places around, like, you can be by the DJ, and, like, people were dancing and stuff up there in, like, actual clothes. You don't have to be in the pool. But you took a drunk baby to a pool party and told him not to get in the pool. Tell me how you think that's going to go. Because I'll tell you how it went. Hey, guys, hold my phone in my wallet. I'll be right back. Pick up my shoes and come sail away. Come sail away with me, baby. I see this like center. There's like people dancing on this like center thing in the pool. And it's not very big, but I'm just a kid, man. I see something and I get excited. And so I'm like, dude, fuck it. I walk into the pool with my full suit, full length suit, button up shirt, blazer. I want to be on that little centerpiece of the pool. And now I'm waiting, baby. I got my, my shoes in one hand and my drink in the other. And I'm holding them above water and I'm just having the time of my life. Waiting out there, waiting out there. Sir, you cannot be in the pool with the full suit. Yes, sir, you're probably right. I will leave. But I can't get it out of my head. 15 minutes later, I go back in. Sir, I've told you twice, you cannot be in the... You're right, you're right, you're right. I'll, I'll, I'll get out of here. I don't know why. I just... Man, they're all harmless. Everything... I mean, I'm not hurting anybody. I just want to party with people. I'm in Vegas. I'm at a pool party. Why didn't you tell me it was going to be a pool party? I would have worn my swim trunks. I brought a Speedo. I would have worn that. Just let me hang out and have fun, baby. That's all I want. But we finally, we didn't get kicked out. We decided to leave. We we're like, yeah, okay, this was cool. We had a good time. Let's get out of here. We got to get something to eat. I don't know what it is about Vegas and late night unavailable munchies. It seems so difficult to find a place that would serve food that was open from like 5 to 7 a.m. It just seemed like a dead time. Now, again, this is during the week, so who knows? Probably different on the weekend. Couldn't find anything. Couldn't find anything. Well, earlier that day, we got nachos. And they were huge. 
just a full freaking tray of nachos with a pineapple cut in half that it's sour cream, guacamole, and, and little chunks of pineapple that you could put on the nachos. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Right outside of Bally's. I don't know. There's like a little food square next to Wahlburgers and stuff like that. I, I don't know what it is, but it's right there. Had that left over. <sighs> okay. Well, it's been in the fridge. We don't have a microwave. Talk to the people at the check-in. Is there any way we can rent a microwave or like a toaster oven or anything like that? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We don't have any any source of heating elements. We don't allow heating appliances. It's a weird policy. You can't even get me one microwave. I Okay. All right. That's fine. It is what it is. All right. Well, now we got to get creative. And I am just in the right mindset to do so. Take the nachos out. Now, I brought my own iron because hotel irons, I ruin my clothes, I'll get a stain on them, or they don't iron out well. It, it, it just something always happens with the hotel iron. So I'm that guy where I bring my own iron. Whatever, man. Talk shit, it came in handy. Not only with our clothes, but with these nachos, baby. Lay those nachos out in the little styrofoam tray that they are. And I've got a great steam function. Now, I don't know what kind of, uh, like, I don't know what kind of mini fridge this is. But it was like a mini freezer. The middle of these nachos were frozen. So I sat there with the iron. Steaming. Hitting that steam button, baby. And I'm steaming these nachos back to life. Now, did we get a good, warm, hot, toasty nacho? No, we didn't. Really not even close. But we did melt a little cheese, and we got them unthawed. And those nachos probably saved our lives, man. Because there was nothing. I don't know why. I don't know why there's not anything in Vegas. Why don't they want you to eat late at night? It's supposed to save you. Your body needs nutrition. We have to have that. As a living being, we need food. But if you can't find it, steam some nachos, baby. That's what it's all about. Hell yeah, man. If you can't find a microwave, grab your iron and steam some nachos. And that's what we did, man. That was last week. There was a, a, a couple other things. I think I'm going to save it for next time. Um... Ah, screw it, man. Little last thing. I, uh, the cat's meow. Because it's. I'm, I'm calling this thing Vegas and cats. You can't do it without the cats. Without the cats. So I live in a just... It's turning out... I thought it was an awesome neighborhood. Silver Lake is great uh, for, for, you know, if you're here to visit or if you're in a nicely... If you have just millions of dollars and you have your own house. And I, other than that, man, I am turning against this neighborhood so freaking hard. There's just homeless. The homelessness is going crazy. There's crackheads and crap running around. That was my last episode. They're in the backyard even of where I'm at. And then I walk out and they stole my damn catalytic converters underneath my Toyota Sequoia. Now, that's a jacked up SUV. I don't have a lift on it. It just sits high. You don't need to jack it up or anything. Catalytic converters, if you don't know, they're part of your exhaust system. They pretty much filter out all of the terrible chemicals, all the terrible gases that, that are coming out of the engine so that the, by the time that it reaches the end of the tailpipe, we're not polluting the air like crazy, even more so than we're already doing. Right. So it just takes it and just filters out the bad chemicals. Well, when you cut that shit, first of all, the sound of the engine doesn't make it through the muffler. So it's loud as hell. The whole I started up and the whole car is damn near shaking. Loud as hell. Some people pay for that kind of loudness. So they kind of did me a favor there. But now I'm just put I mean, putting terrible gases in into the air. Not only that, I can smell them in the cab. I mean, it's basically just you just put your nose straight up to the exhaust pipe. That's what you're getting out of that. So I'm turning against this neighborhood, man. But you know me, I'm a redneck. I'm going to get this sucker fixed. Maybe not the right way, but we're going to get by. That's about a $1,500 piece of equipment that I need. Labor not included. Not that I would pay for that. I would probably try to do it myself. But $1,500. 
that they that they pretty much ganked right out of my right out of my car, right from underneath me. Nothing you can do. I didn't even file a report for it or anything like that. There's no reason you're not going to catch them, right? Because they flip that stuff so quick. So to find somebody in possession of it, you couldn't put all the pieces together to, for justice to even happen, right? So I just go to AutoZone, hit some straight pipes on there. They say it's it's kind of ridiculous, right? Because the people that steal them can turn them into a junkyard and get money, no questions asked. Now, sometimes they'll take a thumbprint, so you can't go back to the same one, but how many junkyards and stuff, or how many scrap metal places are around? That's what they're there for. There's precious metal in there, really expensive metal that actually filters out all of the gases, and that's what those little thieves are in there for. But there's about 18 inches. There's about what the size of that thing is. Wouldn't you know it, AutoZone sells straight pipe in lengths of 18 inches. So there's some shit going on here where everybody's all in cahoots together. The junkyards are taking the stuff and paying people no questions asked. And then AutoZone is selling the, the parts for the size that's missing. And if you don't have catalytic converters on your car, it's considered illegal and it won't pass a smog check. So the whole state is in on this bullshit and somebody's got to pay, baby. Somebody's got to pay. And I just paid $40. That's what it was. So get it fixed. Put the two tailpipes on there or the straight pipes. They're not even, I don't know. They're test pipes, whatever. Got those on there. So country boys just out here laying pipe, baby. We're laying pipe and we're swimming in suits. That's what we do. That's what we do. Uh, Coming up, guys, we have Incubus. I went to Chili Peppers earlier this summer. We got Incubus coming up on Saturday. So next week, maybe the week after. Who knows when I get back on the ones and twos. We'll talk about Incubus and Sublime. And I'm camping out in a van. Me and my buddy are going, uh, he's got a van that he's built the back out of, a Sprinter van. And we're snuggling up. We're snuggling up to Incubus and Sublime. So stay tuned, man. Check back maybe next week, maybe the week after. Last week, this week with your boy Clayton Hill. YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen, wherever you watch, you can find me, your boy, at Last Week This Week Podcast, baby. No cats, no probs, baby. And always wear a swimsuit to Vegas. That's what I'm talking about. See you guys next time.